friends welcome to my channel my name is Wolo I want to say thank you to everyone who have subscribed to my channel and I've seen my videos as usual my channel is about sharing information about life in Canada immigrating to Canada and everything that you need to know about Canada today I'll be talking about why immigrants should avoid landing in Vancouver and that's because Vancouver is the most expensive city in Canada and luckily for vancouver they have the most beautiful weather yes they don't have the the winters we experience in the prairie provinces they don't have that kind of winter so that's why a lot of people a lot of people actually land in vancouver because of the weather and they are trying to avoid the cold in canada that's why they go to vancouver but unknown or unknown to them uh, vancouver is quite expensive and should be avoided and that's why i'm doing this video today so that people can learn and um, and try as much as possible to avoid landing in vancouver so i'll be talking about the cost of living in vancouver so that people can be aware and number one is accommodation the cost of a one bedroom so um, i wrote it down so that i can be reading it out the cost of a one bedroom in the city center of Vancouver is about $2,000 and above. So I, I don't understand why someone should be renting a one bedroom apartment for $2,000. And then if you go outside the city center like Coquitlam, Bonabe, New West, you'll be paying $1,600 for a one bedroom flat. So, and for people with families, if you want to rent a three bedroom, in the city center you'll be paying as much as three thousand seven hundred dollars to four thousand dollars in vancouver there is a noise out there so within the city center you'll be paying you'll be paying three thousand seven hundred dollars to four thousand dollars for a three-bedroom apartment and then for outside the city center you're paying two thousand six hundred and sixty dollars which is too expensive especially for new immigrants I, I don't understand why a new immigrant would want to land in vancouver when you, when these prices the housing prices are so high and they don't have an income at the beginning and they'll be paying rent as high as this and then um for child care okay before i proceed to child care for utilities the cost of utilities is about 95 dollars to 150 dollars they don't pay much in utilities because they don't have um, bad winter like we do in Manitoba. So they don't really pay much, during, uh, pay much in utilities during winter. Then the cost of childcare is about $1,291, whereas the cost of childcare in Manitoba is about $400 to $600 per month. The cost of transportation monthly pass is about $95. Then, um, depending on the zone you go to, they have zone one, zone two, zone three. So if you're moving around zone one, the monthly pass is $95. Zone two is about $128. And then zone three is $174. That's for the monthly pass for transport. Then the cost of gas price is um, $1.51 per liter. So you can imagine fueling your car with $1.51 per liter whereas in Manitoba you're fueling your car for $1.09 in Manitoba then the cost of car insurance goes from $180 to $400 per month for your premium for your car insurance premiums that you pay for and then for groceries is about $600 and then the biggest part is buying a house the desire of every new immigrant is one day to get enough money to own a home in canada but unfortunately that will not be a reality for people who plan to settle in vancouver because the cost of housing of owning a home in vancouver is about one million five hundred dollars whereas you can get that same house in manitoba for five hundred thousand dollars so i don't see why a new immigrant would want to land in vancouver where the cost of living is so high and it's not as if the income in vancouver is commensurate to the cost of living you, you can imagine a an account account manager in vancouver earning um, forty eight thousand dollars 
per annum and yet paying a rent of $3,000 per month. And the take home pay for that account manager is like $2,300. So what will happen? The account manager is now subjected to get to looking for another job, working 16 hours to just pay for rent. Whereas if the person is living in, whereas if the person is living in Manitoba or Winnipeg, $48,000 is enough to pay your rent, to pay your pay anything you want to pay, and you still have enough savings in your pocket. So this is why I say new immigrants should avoid landing in Vancouver because it's quite expensive. Um, the, although the weather is mild, for people who want to say I want to go to where I will not have to suffer so much um, cold or suffer so much during winter, yes, the weather is mild, but you will be suffering in terms of um, finances and the job you get the earnings you earn is not commensurate to what you're going to spend at the end of the day. Um, that's why I'm advising, it's my opinion, like I usually say, it's my own opinion. You can make your decision yourself if you want to land in Vancouver. The cost of living in Vancouver is quite expensive, so I would advise, and strongly advise, for new immigrants to avoid landing in Vancouver. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.